Thanks, Robert. Okay, next one from Ian. While I'm sure there are many, uh, what do you feel is a common mistake when uh, establishing a horror movie setting or antagonist that would undermine the whole experience? The most common mistake is, is that undermines everything is that there's a weakness hidden in the monster uh, that is deliberate and uh, by the writer. And uh, we just sit there waiting for the uh, protagonist to figure out what the monster's weakness is. That uh, uh, a monster with a built-in weakness so that um, you know we can get out of it is the most common mistake. Uh, and um, um, the other most common mistake that I've already mentioned is thinking that you can um, substitute uh, uh, violence on the screen, uh, the you know uh, grossing out um, as a as a substitute for imagination. The most common mistake that, that that keeps it from really being terrifying is that you don't restrain the violence hide it and build it uh, uh, underneath things so that um, the imagination in the audience is amplified and they sit there with staring with their eyes wide open and staring ahead, terrified of what could happen because um, they've imagined it in some horrible way. And so eliminating the audience's imagination and putting it on the nose and on the screen and or uh, eliminating the power of the monster by building in a flaw. Uh, those to, in order to get out a string to pull in order to get out of the story. Those are the two most common flaw, flaws that I see in um, horror films that are ordinary at best or even worse. Mm -hmm.